Day three, we'll get underway with the Moors Millions, and it's a quite a short one. What a short leg today to kick off. Three miles and two furlongs. Sandback comebacks. James Shea, Passionate Queen, David Robertson. Little Rock Kingdom, Vinnie Gerard, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Run and Skip, John Morgan. Crucial Elsie, James Shea, Sharnbury, Mulan, Alex Cherry, Langley Streak for Graham Clutterbuck, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper, the go between Martin Little, Lady Sharona, Alex Cherry, Dressed to Impress, Craig Beckwith, Corbin's Raw, Graham Clutterbuck, Tayside Tiger, Matt Cooper, and Agent Arlen for Padre Hogan. They're away and racing already. Heading down towards the first of the fences in this one of the shorter Moors Millions races. Only a couple of furlongs longer than the shortest starters orders qualifier, I think. Anyway, run and skip leads. They're all safely over the first and heading down towards the second of the 17 fences they've got to take in this. And run and skip is taking on the role of John Morgan front runner. We've seen them have quite a lot of success this week. And this one currently leads by about five lengths or so to Philly Eagle in second. Corbin's Roar is third as they get to the second. And there's a fall there. It's the go-between that's gone. So that continues my disappointing week. Disappointing season, to be fair. Anyway, running the skips a lead up. Leading by about six to Corbin's Roar second. Lady Sharona is third. And then Philly Eagle takes our Tigers after that one as they get over the third. And we'll safely over the third with Agent Arlen. Just the back marker alongside Langley Streak. When it's run and skip, and it's clear in front, heading to the fourth. Which they all take nicely. And run and skip, continuing to lead. With Corbin's Roar in second. And Paddy Sherrod on the inside is third. With Philly Eagle in fourth. Lady Sharona, Magic Word, Tayside Tiger. He's after that one. Passionate Queens on the inside in the Moven Turquoise Hoops. They get to number five, which they all get over. Okay, Agent Arlen and Langley Streak still the back two. They make their way towards fence number six. And uh, this is a big ditch. And uh, Running Skip stood off it but jumped it nicely. The rest of them all got over it okay as well. Back to Agent Arlen at Langley Street, just getting a little bit detached from the others. That loose horse getting in their way a little bit. That run and skip is still clearing the lead from Philly Eagle and Corbin's Raw matching strides in second. And Lady Sharona and Magic Word. Strawberry Moon on his after that one, and then dressed to impress Passionate Queen. Little Rock Kingdom. In the middle of the pack as they get to the seventh. Uh, there's a couple of mistakes there, most notably the Craig Beckwith horse magic word, I think it was. He didn't jump it all that well. But it's running skip who leads them past the um, big screen. They go past the winning post shortly and then head out for a complete circuit of the track. And run and skip racing uphill, leading by a good four lengths or so to Corbin's Roar in second, Philly Eagle in the red jacket is third, then Passionate Queen has moved through into fourth, dressed to impress wide on the track is next as they take this fence that goes away from the stand and they're all safely over that one as well, still Langley Streak and Agent Arlen, a couple of lengths adrift the rest of them at the back but they're still plenty close enough to get involved and run and skip, he's running nicely between the fences and skipping nicely over them as they get over number nine, which they all got over again. Corbin's Roar a clear second, Philly Eagle third, but the rest of the pack are closing. They're all now beginning to merge. And Agent Arlen and Langley Streak are also getting closer to that main pack. So, Run and Skip's lead is down to no more than two and a half lengths now. Corbin's Roar and Philly Eagle still together in second and third, then dressed to impress Passionate Queen and Lady Sharona with Little Rock Kingdom. Just behind them, then Sandgate Combats is after that with his stable mate alongside Crucial Elsie. Just tucked in between them is Magic Word and Chambry Moulin has just dropped back a bit, so too is Tayside Tiger. And then the back two are still Agent Arlen and finally Langley Streak as they take this right hand turn and continue on their way with Run and Skip. Still the leader, in the lead all the way. And lead them over the 12th and right into the top of it. So too did the back marker Langley Street. The lead 
is now down to a little more than a length, if that. Philly Eagle is now a clear second. Little Rock Kingdom is coming nicely around the outside. Passionate Queen has moved into a clear third as Corbin's Raw starts to beat a bit of a retreat. They get over to 13th and that time it was Philly Eagle who jumped into the lead. So Philly Eagle's gone on then now from Run and Skip who maybe just getting a bit of a breather into him. Then after that one comes Passionate Queen. Little Rock Kingdom is next then dressed to impress as they get over that one and something's down there. Magic Word's gone. So Magic Word's gone for Craig Beckwith but it's Run and Skip who's got back into the lead. Philly Eagle's on the inside in second, on the outside is Passionate Queen. These are a couple of lengths clear off Sandbank Comebacks, who's now starting to make a forward move around the outside and has suddenly swept round the ball and gone into the lead. Look at this Agent Arlen, who was right out the back and he's now bursting through into second. It's Sandgate Comebacks coming down to a third last with a two length lead. Agent Arlen is in second, jumped it really well and goes alongside the leader. Also running off from the back is Crucian Elsie, but it's now Agent Arlen who's hit the front. And Agent Arlen putting in something of a performance here at the moment. He's starting to move away from the rest of them. Two lengths clear coming to the second last. The final ditch. Agent Arlen gets over. He's now three lengths clear. The only real danger looks to be Crucian Elsie. That's the only one that's really running on. He's just going to get over this final fence, but there's still three furlongs to go as well. And it's Agent Arlen who's three lengths clear of Sungate Comebacks in second. Passionate Queen is now getting into overdrive and he's starting to reel the leader in. Agent Arlen's trying to respond. Still leads by two and a half, but now Crucian Elsie's coming through. Here comes Dress to Impress on the outside. Agent Arlen is getting tired. Has still got one more fence to get over, and it's Agent Arlen hanging on in the lead up the final fence. Agent Arlen over in front, but out jumped by Crucian Elsie. Little Rock Kingdom was a faller. It's Luke Crucian Elsie who's gone on. Crucian Elsie from dress to impress. Philly Eagles gone into third. Agent Arlen's got nothing left, and it's going to be Crucian Elsie into the final half. Final Crucian Elsie. He's racing away with it. Dress to impress. He's trying to close, but isn't going to get there. And it's going to be Crucian Elsie that takes it. Dress to impress second. Run the skip running for third. Philly Eagle. Agent Arlen. In Sandgate comebacks and all the way back to Langley Street. Lost Strawberry Moolan as well in the straight and a race that totally changed complexion a couple of times. Looked like Agent Arlen had stolen it but ran out of steam. And Crucian Elsie takes it for James Shea. Dressed to impress Craig Beckwith was second. Run and skip John Morgan was third. Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper fourth. And Agent Arlen for Padraig Hogan hung on to be fifth.